Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO and I'm here. Chilling with my people in New Orleans is going down, man. I got a very, very special group of guys right here, right now, man. Uh, I came down here because of this guy right here, too. My boy GD is in the building, GDP as usual, man. What it do? Man, what's up, man? I just want to tell you, thank you so much, first of all, for coming out here. And with the, uh, what the artist's name is that drew that great picture of Big Man, man from like 1990? C, get it, baby. What, C Ray? C Ray. Get it, baby. C Ray? Yeah. I just called him and told him everything that went down. But, man, let's not start right now. Okay. I got a guy here today, y'all. Listen, man, the nigga addressed me on my show, man. I got a problem with it, man. He just got drafted. Stop playing, yeah, man. man. David yeah, Hudson is in the building. Man, man. No, no, big What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's night night He's out here. Yeah. Man, yeah. Boss Talk 101. You ever seen this show before? Man, a hundred times. <laughs> I've seen everybody on this show. <laughs> thank I you went so back much. and did my homework. Yeah, man. One of the I, best. I want to tell you thank you for coming on the show today, man. So this is something that's great, man. I knew you guys was uh, really, really, you know, working on, on, on getting this street. I got to know the process to what it took to get Birdman uh, uh, and, and Slim, Baby and Slim, as y'all call them down here, yeah. like to get that street named after them, how much work and dedication went into that, man? It was it was a whole lot of work, you know? It's like anything that's special or anything that's major, um, you're gonna run into a lot of hiccups, you run into a lot of everything. It seemed like it wasn't gonna work, it looked at times, it looked like it wasn't gonna happen, mm -hmm. and we just kept fighting, kept pushing, and we we wasn't giving up until it happened. So we made it happen. Wow, I mean, you know, I seen you running around down there, man, but I wanna talk about just the process of, you had a lot of lot of rappers. I mean, Tupac is one that mm -hmm. they named the street after. Uh, Easy E, mm -hmm. Eric yeah. Wright Street. Biggie. I went up there and interviewed those guys as well. Uh, and I just wanted to just, like, what did it take for you guys to get to the point where you was like, man, we need to name it? Uh, uh. What I would say is, first of all, like you said, it's, it's only happened 14 times in hip hop. They did an article in Double XL like in November 2023 saying it was only 14 people in hip hop. They got street names after them or intersections. And like you said, Tupac, Biggie, uh, Big L, Big Punt, um, a slew of artists and all that, you know, and, and, and um, um, Nipsey Hussle, you know, when he died, everybody in LA wanted that. Dolph in the deep south, but like I said, Jay Prince don't got this, Uncle Luther don't have this. So for Baby them to be alive, we knew it was really important. So, you know, I seen Too Short get it and E-40, and I told David, I'm like, man, look, we had got the key to the city from, and once we got the key to the city or whatever from, like around February, because that was a process, and David tell you it started with the, the hip hop 50 years of that or whatever, but that's why I was like, Dave, we need to get them the key to the city, they didn't get it. Then we started doing for the street, when I seen everybody else, I said, David, I told Aunt, I said, Stunner, I said, man, they ain't got this done for you or whatever. He, he like, man, maybe when I'm gone, they gonna do it for me or whatever. I'm like, no, we gonna get it done. Cause we didn't see it. I told David, and then David worked close by City Hall. So then David had relationships and then, then David took the ball and David with it. worked close by City Hall. Like what, how did you end up being close to City Hall? What, how so, does that happen? So let me give you the, the backstory. So um, I'm from the hood, from the neighborhood. So. Uh, growing up in the hood, you saw a lot of negativity. And project, yeah. You know, I grew up in the project, Night War and Desire. Uh, they tore the Desire down. I started being in the Florida, hanging with my guys in the Florida, whatever. And uh, it was so much negativity. Everybody wanted to be like the the, uh, the rappers and the hustlers, and everybody had a lot of things that they wanted to do with all the, you know, just nothing positive, right? So I said, you know what? I want to be something different because I watched all the hustlers make all this money. And as soon as they make enough money, mm. they never took the mindset and they never had nobody around them with the mindset to say, hey, look, get out there, clean your money up, start a business, do something positive. And everybody always was going to jail. Or getting killed. So, or getting killed. So going to jail, getting killed, either way they was losing all their money. So I just wanted to be somebody different. And even back in the project, I was one of the guys that was instrumental in changing a lot of guys' lives and their mindset and telling them they could be something different and showing them different. So my, 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 my um, thing was to make sure that everybody from the neighborhood have somebody, if they see somebody from the neighborhood doing something positive, then they'll give them an a outlook on it. So I got straight in the political field and started working closely with a lot of people who was running for office and elected officials. And I was instrumental in helping a lot of the elected officials that's elected right now uh, get elected. 
in the inner city of New Orleans, in the state of Louisiana, because I helped a lot of state representatives, the council people. Uh, when you're talking about the DA, you're talking about the judges in every court, pretty much. So mm. I was instrumental in helping a lot of these people get in position. And, uh, you know, for me, once me having a relationship with them, because that's what everything is about, relationships and resources. So when BG come home, I said, man, you know what? I'm going to give BG a proclamation. I reached out to GD because I'm like, if anybody could get in touch with him, it'll be GD. So I called GD. I said, look, GD, I'm going to get a proclamation for BG. Just come home and make sure make something happen for him. He said, man, look, I just got off the phone with, with Stunner, man. Stunner said, the city ain't never do nothing for him. I said, wait, what? Mm -hmm. I said, man, you playing? He said, nah, man. He said, man, look, give me a few minutes. I'm going to put you on the phone with Stunner. So he called me back, put me on the phone with Stunner, and, and was like, look, Stunner, like, yeah, enough, man. The city never did nothing for me, and blah, 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 and everything. And I said, you know what? I used one of the juvenile lines. I'm about to change that. Send that boy to the Newell. I said, man, come back home. We're going to make sure you get everything you deserve. Right. So, you know, at first he was just like, man, he's just talking. He's one of them political type people and all this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. immediately, me and Gita hit the ground running and made a lot of these things happen. Well, it's just exciting to see it, man. I, like I said, I'm, I've always been a big fan of, of uh, New Orleans and the music and the movement, man. For How did you, what, what made you start to think about just the hip hop side of this thing? You know what I mean? Because so, to talk about the Bee Gees, to talk about, you know, doing stuff. And for you to do that, 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 that that's a change. Cause most of the time they're into, when you get into those rooms, you're trying to figure out ways to do stuff for the city per se. But a lot of times, uh, there's a it, it's a money grab. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, right. 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 Talk right. 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 it is, it's man. Right. Yeah. Talk. But like I say, it's about relationships and resources. I have a relationships with the, the pretty much the entire city. I have relationships with anybody you would want to be in contact with. I have a relationship or resource to all those different people. And I just wanted to be one of the people to bridge the gap. I've been doing it for a long time. People just didn't know who I was until G did started putting it out there. So I was just making a lot of stuff happen and just doing it behind the scenes. So a lot of stuff that you've been seeing happening in New Orleans, I was pretty much behind making a lot of it happen. But I, I want, you know, I ain't too a fan of trying to get all the glory and the recognition for me. If it need to happen, then I'm gonna do what's best in my power to make it happen. And I'm gonna touch on that. The reason why, like I told you right before it was so, and pull for me to do that for him because I remember feeling like Cinderella, like doing a lot of shit and then people just trying to keep you in a dungeon. Like you the one, but it's like people don't want nobody to know you the one with the ideas and this and that. So when I seen what he was doing and I seen how he was helping and he was hard working and he was like always on the phone, I'm like, damn dude, doing all this shit and nobody ain't really paying attention to it. Nobody ain't really like amplifying him. So every chance I got, I said his name every chance I got. I, I don't mind sharing the ball because right. I feel like I'm going to shine regardless. So all my niggas, we shine. Just like Big Me said, we gonna all shine like new money. <laughs> you shout me out all the time. I shout you out. We big each other up. Right. For real. That's what right. you really supposed to do. And I think a lot of dudes act like it's a problem when you be shouting niggas out and you be putting people on. I don't, I think that's corny. Like why people act like it's a problem to put people on, uh, shout out people that really do a great job and hear a dude that get it done. But a lot of times people don't know he behind a lot of shit but a lot of people be acting like it's really them. Wow. So that's why I'm gonna make sure, yeah, you so, know it was so, him. So you knew, even though BG had did all those years in prison, you still was trying to get something done for him through the city. Yeah. How did, where does that drive? Cause a lot of people would look down on somebody that yeah, had been on us. Listen, uh, BG is a, a, a major, major person in, throughout the community. Everybody who knew him, knew him, he was genuine. You know what I'm saying? So everybody who had an encounter with him, Anybody who knew him, if you didn't, if you never met him before, mm -hmm. a lot of stories you hear about him was like, man, this guy really, really like down to earth. Mm -hmm. and he, even when I met him and started collabing with him and doing stuff with him, yep. if he told me he was going to do it, he'd done it. He reached out to me a lot right. and, and just, you know, check up on me. The guy really solid. Genuine, so when, 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 I, when I saw him come home, I said, you know what? Man, I need to get a proclamation for BG. So I definitely want to give a shout out to my guy, the councilman, Freddie King. Freddie King, that's yep. the first person I called. West Bank. He's, he's, he's the youngest councilman on our on, on our council board. Shout out to all the council, mm -hmm. uh, men and women, because right. you know with this council uh, group, we was able to pull a lot of this stuff off. Without them, uh, I think we have the, the, the right council group in, in office to be able to pull all this off. Right but, timing, yeah. So I called and uh, called the councilman, told him I wanted to get a proclamation for BG. He said, man, this is a no brainer, set it up. And then he like, you know what, Dave? I'm 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 a I'm a juvenile guy too. So let's do one for juvenile too. I said, well, look, you know, if you're gonna do BG and juvenile, let's just do the high boy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because Turk had yeah, one too. Yeah, so shout boom. Out Turk, yeah. Shout out Turk and shout out everybody Weezy, from, yeah. uh, from the Weezy. high boys. So once I did that, I'm like, well, shit, Jeter got, can get in touch with all of these people. So I reached out to Jeter, and then from there, we hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. wow. And then what wound up happening was, Did once we put it in play, Juvenile wind up getting a proclamation before we can, before I can get it through the councilman to make it happen. So he got a proclamation from a different council person who didn't know what we had going on. Mm -hmm. So then right after that, I'm like, you know what? He put, he, G to put it on my mind that a lot of these people weren't recognized. So we started reaching out to a lot of these artists. Like even the all guys from the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. and the early 2000s who put on for the city and around mm -hmm. the world, we realized a lot of them weren't recognized. So I got with the councilman and uh, we set it up and I mm -hmm. said, you know what? It's the 50 years of hip hop. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and just do a 50 year hip hop and get all these guys a proclamation. And the council said, man, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So we got with GD and got out, got with Cess 45 and got out with Peace Out yeah. Mo uh, and got out with my cousin, uh, Honorable Darren Parnell. So we just wanted to make sure all these people got their flowers while they could smell it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, for me, I'm one of the people who've been pulling, bridging the gap throughout the community anyway. So that was a good way to get the community in touch with the, uh, with the hip hop world and the hip hop world with the political, political world. Yeah. So I have a relationship in all sectors. So I just pulled everybody together and me and GD hit the ground running. We made this thing happen. You're doing a great job, man. Like I said, to even be recognized, you young brothers that look like us, you know right. what I mean? Um, you got to think about it, man. You know, um, man, it's been a long time coming. You know, you got a lot of time stigma that get put on brothers like you and I, you know, the world we, we was looked at in the wrong way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like we, like we was, you, the news, you remember how I portrayed our people. For many, many years, we didn't do nothing to, we didn't have no way to jump into networking and being that, you know, that catalyst for uh, information that's being right, given right. to our people. And we right. have that now right. with things like Boss mm -hmm. Talk and like I said, Beehive and a lot of the, a lot of the ones right. that do this, you right, know what right. I mean? Like Shout when you when you think about that, you know, um, to turn that narrative and then to have people like you, there it's a it's a, it's a it's a home run. You right, know what I mean? Because right, right. we can talk about it, we can do it in a way to where we can we can create our own narrative for our people. Right, and right. it's been a long time coming. Right, to be right. honest with you, Definitely. that's why I came down to New Orleans today because I knew you guys had done this with mm -hmm. Birdman and Slim and. And I wanted to make sure that I was here for this, man. Yeah, you right. guys did a hell of a job out there too. Yeah, like you I know said, what I mean? it almost it great job. Yeah, and it went so many different ways. Like you said, the weather we was worrying about, then you know, a lot of the elected officials was changing things, like on a fly, on a, like on the posters and all that. Said they postponed it, so the people like rain. I'm telling you, I think you probably gotta go home. People like they don't know, stunning to go come back and forth, and we was just trying to keep untying knots. You know, all these people here, we got. DJ Chicken when we got Prowlees out there with the food truck, we got the tramps out there, we got the lady that David helped set up the whole corner with the red car, with the balloons, the little Williams Brothers signs, like all this stuff. Y'all coming with the picture out of Dallas. Yeah, but that, I want to talk about that, man. You know, I came with the picture. Right. I had it, man. C. Ray killed the artist. Right. You he know, he a did. real stomp down artist right. called right. Birdman even said it. Right. Slim looked at it like, man, I got to get that joint. I'm like, man, ain't got but one, nigga. Right. 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 Thing. Right, so they, right. but the thing was when we was out there it was like man you know by faith mm -hmm. i believe in god right. so when y'all saying whatever y'all say, I really don't care. Right, I'm more right, right. thinking about God, bro. Right. He didn't bring me down here right, like right, this right, right, with right. this picture and this right, car like right. this. Me and my wife prayed. We made it safe. We here. Right. Birdman them is in the city. Right. In my heart, it was already a home run, right, bro. I'm right. being real. Right. I don't think like, and I knew. Man, everything gonna happen. I just don't know how God gonna do it, but right. he always make, make it, it happen. Right. And I'm gonna right. add context to what he's saying, y'all. He was telling me, Jesus, like, I need to go over there and show Stunning's picture. I came all around it. I'm like, yeah, I need running up to him. Everybody keep going up to him, and they all in the ball. I'm telling you, I gotta let him chill out, because I don't know how he's gonna move. I'm like, man, man, man. Look. man. So he like, man, I ain't hearing that, man. We hear I'm going in there. I'm going in the little cell. You right. gotta yeah, understand, yeah. it ain't really, like, yeah. I gotta, you gotta understand, I look at you, man. You got you 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 got to understand who you are to this city and what you've done. Just like when you were standing up there making the speech, and I told you, "No, nah, man, say one, two, three, y'all. We all men. Like you got to say it." And, and and when you start to speak, everybody turn their attention to you. You right, know what I right. mean? Because you have a voice here in the city. Right. You've done what you're supposed to do, man. You and David, y'all killing it. Right. And I just say, man, don't let the momentum go away, but also don't let nobody dumb down what you're doing because at the end of the day, you guys are dope, man. Right. And and Birdman them, they you gotta they gotta see that. Right. Slim right. gotta see that. Right. 
uh, Juve got to see that. BG, all these people, man, we all need each other. Right. right. So at the end of the day, everybody, you know, should see that the work is being done that we here because we love the people. Man. Right. Right. It ain't even about it. Ain't even, it's about about people that look like us that exactly. maybe not even know how to give that opportunity. Let's think about them for a second. Right. Mm -hmm. They see it in you. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm talking about that that 17, 16 year old. Right. You giving him hope and opportunity to yeah. see what y'all doing now. Right. This is going to evolve into somebody else saying, man, if GD did it and David them right. did it, I, I, we could probably do it. I mean, Another thing that was good too. You see what I'm I mean, saying? Another thing that was good too, I just want to add to that is that it was big for us to be um, with all those people from all those different parts of town, like people from the West Bank, the East, everybody uptown, was downtown, y'all coming from out of town, other people came from Baton Rouge, people came from all over, but nobody wasn't violent, wasn't no fights, wasn't no None fussing, that. it wasn't no pushing, get out the way, it was a stuff like, so it was everybody a was showing love for them. So it was, that was the best thing about it, that everybody was able to get along and it was just, the energy was good. It was like a lot of love in there. I, I, I was so excited about that the most. You know? Wow, man, you know, like I said, man, I got to talk to Bird, man. He pretty much just like when you put me on the phone with him, right? right? He loved boss talk right. and he rocked with us. He right. started talking to the wife when we got in there with the pitch and mm -hmm. telling us about, you know, what he thought about the right. show and us. And, and to be real with you, you know, you don't know all the people like you, David, say you watch Ball Star. Right. We don't know that. We right. just doing the show to show love to the culture. Right. right. We don't know what we doing far as that go, mm -hmm. but we do know that we care about the people. And I think right. that's what give us the energy. That's what made me fall in love with the show. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. I'm like, I'm gonna get on Ball Star one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get on Ball Star. I told G, I said, man, if I do an interview, bro, I gotta go on Ball Star. <laughs> G was like, man, I'm gonna set that up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For we, real. He said, don't know. We going on it. We going on it. Man, man, <laughs> Man, he had been on the phone talking for hours. Yeah, I love we, we were getting, he would be busy as hell doing all of it, and we still talk. So, like I said, it's, it's yeah. genuine. That's why I say he been the one that really been tapped into New Orleans from out there. And like I yeah. said, shout out I Big D, rest that. in peace, Big D. Yeah. Yeah. Put us together, and Big yeah. D told you when you come down here, and ever since then we've been rocking. So every yeah. time I come on here, I always try to remember Big D the Big D, Big D yeah. made me. Interview where I was telling David, I said he used to go hard on him when we get in, he'll go, but he'll test me to That's see if I'm gonna break yeah. But that made me better because he'll say, you, if you're gonna believe in what you believe in, you gotta stand on it. Yeah. And I need to know if I could break you or you go. So I was like, damn, it's a hot seat. And we were laughing about it, but I miss Big D, bro. I, I miss him too, cool. man. He was 39 when he passed away. Damn. That's too young, man. Damn. But at the end of the day, man, you know, God don't make no mistakes, bro. Right. Even though we want to say he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, we just we just got to keep the memories like you just did going. Right. You know, a lot of times, even with the PMC movement, right. a lot of people be like, man, oh, you talk about PMC all the time. What if I don't talk about it? I love Pimp. Ain't nobody gonna talk, talk about him. You don't talk about him. Right. You gonna just let him just not? No, don't talk about him. I just posted it. a video on my page when I was, seen that. Yeah, I, I seen Lucy, that, and he was doing that show out there. Boosie was he in the video he earlier. You from Louisiana? He said, I'm Crowley now. Yeah. He said, man, you know anybody out here? You gotta be yeah. Pimp. Yeah, I'm from Crowley now because a lot of people in Texas still don't really be knowing that Pimp moved out there. But if they read the book, they had no Pimp lived in Crowley. Then he moved because of the job by yeah. the port and all that. So, but he loved the South and he loved Texas and Louisiana. I think that's why he did so much with. Master P and them and Boosie and them and stuff like that and even Cash Money, you know. And, Man, you know. I, it, bringing up Master P, like, have you did anything? A street coming for him or what? What y'all oh, yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, you got so, a no limit driver on this or something? Shout out to Master P. Shout out to P, man. Shout out Juggy too. Yeah, shout out Juggy. Yeah, shout shout out Juggy. Juggy, yeah, answer my call when I call you, man. I called you once. I ain't gonna lie, that was probably about no, six months ago. Look at the camera. Yeah, yeah, Juggy. Yeah, yeah. Answer my call, nigga. No, I yeah, got I got I mean, right there. He sent me some cereal and everything. Yeah, I know it. Shout out Big Boss too. But yeah, we I love Boss. Don't never not answer my call. Yeah, Boss. That's my guy. Yeah, Big Boss. Yeah. Tell yeah. him about yeah. the street stuff, what you saying, what he probably said. Yeah, yeah. So so with Master P, after we confirmed and did everything for Baby, and then P reached out, Juggy reached out on behalf of P. And really? like, yeah, mm -hmm. like, hey, man, look, you know, we got to get one of them things too. I'm like, well, listen, you know, it's like anything else. Sometimes we don't think things are possible. Mm -hmm. So we was just putting something in the air and hoping it, it stick. stick. We just yeah. throw it to the wall and hoping it stick. And then once we made that happen, we immediately went in and said, okay, we have to do one for Master P too. So we didn't put it for Master P. Mm -hmm. uh, P then came to the city. Mm -hmm. We linked up with P, had P come out and speak to the New Orleans All-Star Band, which mm -hmm. I'm a part of too. Uh, spoke with the kids, G to hook them up with mm -hmm. Shea O'Connor mm -hmm. from uh, Channel 6 News. Right. Uh, she came out and did an interview, did a story for him. We had a sign made for him and everything. So. 
uh, we put it we put it out there in his own way as well. So we we want to make sure we highlight the people that need to be highlighted. And that's in the same district as Leslie Harris. So that's yeah, our so district. Shout, I'm out, to, shout, shout out, out to Councilwoman Leslie Harris. Wow. That's and district. her husband Jeff too, because yeah. he came through. He was out there today. Yeah, yeah, her husband Jeff was out there in yeah, so. Royce DuPlessis. So. No, I, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I ain't seen nothing like that, you know, what happened for people who are alive. You won't get one for Tyler yeah. Perry, too. They're right. in the same. Tyler Perry. Tyler, Tyler Perry. Here, ain't he? Tyler Perry. About that. So it Tyler grew up with all that money you done got. Yeah, so Tyler, Tyler grew up right. on, on Washington. He grew up between Washington and six on Barone. So that was so we would want to get Barone and Washington in the section of Pops, but for Tyler. But did yeah, you go out there and see that setup he got in Atlanta when you was out there? Hey, I know he been in some else. Know, I know that too. Did you go with look? I ain't never seen. See what I'm saying? I seen, I but I seen, I seen his house though. I seen his house though. No, his house I drove out there, man. I said, let me go see what this boy doing out here with this studio out here. Wow. That let me go. Out there. This is a whole. I heard it, man. You ain't he got something he did in Douglasville too. He got a lot of stuff, yeah, don't he? Just keep building. Now, it's, it's like a whole community. You got a whole street to go to it. It's his highway. Came along. You talking giving him a, a road. He got a whole Tyler Perry Studios highway that leads you into this place where you can't get in. Yeah. You can only go and circle around. He got guards and stuff out right. there. It's, heard, it's a community, it. bro. Being I heard about it. It's morning, different. Man. This yeah. is just where he shoot at, though. Right. But it's like I said, it's so good because, like I said, reading this book and seeing how he come from what's in the same school baby and went to uh, went to Cohen and stuff like that. The same school Slim went to for a little while and Lil Yai and all them went there, whatever. But this the same school that these guys went to and look how far he came. And it's crazy, all of them from the third world, baby and Slim on um, Master P and um, Tyler Perry, whatever, all of them from uptown at the third. That's crazy to be That's honest. That's my from. Right. And so let me say this too, boss talk. Speaking of books, I have a book out. Me and my cousin. You want my it's, copy? Um, I, I have one for you. Here is in the car. See what I'm saying? Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Where is it at? We, we, were, rushing, we were rushing to get okay, up. I need, so, I need to get that I'm book. Gonna get you a copy. I'm going to put that book up right here. He say he got it, got it. If call. he got it and he going to give it to me right now, it's going to pop up. It's coming. It's <laughs> on the way. If he didn't give it to me, I didn't pop up. Yeah, so it, so it, you do got it here. I have a book out. It's, it's entitled Bam. Business Relationships and Resources. That's all. And, and I want to say this too, Boss Talk, while we're speaking about everything. Um, you know, what made me do a lot of the stuff that I do is because of, I see a lot of the people complaining. And if we if we ever going to come together and make anything happen, we have to leave all the foolishness to the side. So everybody complain about one person and one artist getting in position, mm -hmm. everybody complaining, trying to pull them down. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of those people, if I see something I know it need to happen, I'm gonna go make it happen, whether you know I think it's right or it's wrong. And the, and the issue we really having is a lot of people complaining and they're not having uh, conversations with people. We gotta have these conversations. So mm -hmm. my conversation with the elected officials and the, my conversation with the bigger artists like a Birdman them and, and a Master P and, and the Rod Four Nines and people like that, and even the, the, the people who moving in the community, like the, the shakers and movers making stuff happen in the community. Mm -hmm. When I talk to everybody, the issue is the people in the community say, man, why you do something for them? And they don't do nothing for the community. Mm -hmm. and then, but when I have a conversation with Babe and them, it's like, well, you know what? when I talk to Pete and, and have a conversation with those kind of people, see, they don't have those opportunities to have those real type of conversations. And when I had the conversation, the issue was, anywhere they go around the world, Atlanta, Texas, Joe, everybody open up the doors, roll a red carpet out, they do a live for them, they give them stuff, they, they put them on the news, mm -hmm. oh, cash money coming in town here, no money coming people, yeah. here, or whoever coming here, and they just, get the red carpet all around the world until they get in their hometown. And when they get to the hometown, nobody don't announce them. Uh, sometimes people don't show up and, and, and acknowledge them mm -hmm. and, and do anything for them. Like in, in Atlanta, they got a lot of stuff in the, in the, in the airport mm -hmm. with yep. all the different artists and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So yep. when GD was sending me all that stuff and I started hearing all these different conversations from everybody, I felt like it was important to make all these things happen. Because in New Orleans, we have a lot of talent. In Louisiana alone, we have a lot of talent. Right. So in order for us to be able to compete with Atlanta and Florida and all mm -hmm. these different major places, mm -hmm. the first thing we have to do is come together. Right. So all the talk, all the rah rah talking everybody doing, I solution. put all that to the side. I'm just coming with the solution. Right. Everybody talking about the problem, mm -hmm. but nobody saying, well, what, what is the solution to the problem? So while they talking, I get with GD, we just make it happen, I get with other people, and we connecting and connecting all the dots and make it happen. So our city could be recognized, our state could be recognized on, on not just on the local level, but on the international level. Right. So just doing this for Babe and them, that's gonna go worldwide and uh, being instrumental in Rob 49, them here. shout out to Rob 49, shout out to Miss Christie, mm -hmm. shout out to his pop, Big yeah, Rob, yeah. man, it, that's an incredible camp. I've been, 
been a part of them since they started, man. They showed me so much love. They did so much for the city. Right. I've seen Rob for nine and his camp do so much for the city that nobody even knew about. Right. So uh, even him binding the people out of jail, he was trying to bind more people out of jail. We mm -hmm. tried to do it for Christmas and we ran into a hiccup even doing that. So right. we have people that want to do stuff for the city. And then a lot of times people like Babe and them and uh, people like P and them, they old school. Mm -hmm. So when they do things, they ain't doing it to be seen. Mm -hmm. So as long as the people not seeing it in the community, they feel like they're not doing that. Right. Man, why you doing that for them? They don't do nothing for the city. But when I'm around them, I'm seeing them do stuff for so many different people throughout the city and it's not being televised. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not being on Instagram yeah. and people can't see it, they, they complain and saying, yeah. man, they don't do nothing for nobody, but I've seen with my own two eyes. Right. Especially Rob 49, he did a lot for the community. He's wow. been, he been doing a lot mm -hmm. for the community. Yeah. Even like a shout out to Fee Banks, man. Fee Banks Fee is Banks. one of the, yeah. man, shout out to Fee he Banks. He did a lot of well. shout outs on both of them. What Fee Banks said, he man, in the city. Man, shout out to Fee Banks. He still got it, yeah. He might be on the road, but he probably is down there. I'm Call him, man. You know, I do one with him tonight, for sure. Fee Banks, that's the one I'm looking for next on Shout out to Shout out to Trill Will and the whole GMG movement, mm -hmm. Good Money Global. Mm -hmm. That's my guys. I'm, you know, I'm, in, I'm behind the scene with all these different people, and I'm watching all these dudes do so many different things. Make moves, right? I have some artists of my own, and Fee Banks was one of the. Well, Rob Four Nine was the per first person that helped put my artists in a nice position with, where he did features and different wow. things like that. But uh, GMG, Fee Banks gave my artists a. Um, we, we, we was able to get a lot of his people, his camp, everybody that's under his wing, like a Quando Rondo, my, yeah. my producers got songs with them. Cam Beam, and yeah. yeah, Cam Beamer, shout out to Cam Beamer, because if it wasn't for Cam Beamer, I wouldn't even be in the, in the music world. And shout out to uh, Brandon Terrell. Brandon Terrell is one of the singers in New Orleans who, who don't get a lot of credit or recognition for what he do, but he's one of them old school tank kind of artists. Mm -hmm. But them two, uh, Cam Beamer, Brandon Terrell, one of the two people that put me in the game with this music stuff. Let me go back to the, like, the political stance on whether it be the guys that are be getting incarcerated down here. Yeah, because yeah, I want you to say that too. I want to talk about that baby stuff too. Yeah, in jail, I want to so. go to the, you know, like the, the county jail, the food they're being given, the, the, the way they're being taken care of, stuff like that. These mm -hmm. are things that, that we need to really, really be trying to make sure that they not just abusing these systems mm -hmm. that we support taxpayers are putting place putting things in place right. and paying money on things but don't have much say so how do you guys try to do anything to help I love, those guys i want to touch on that too and i know david could elaborate it more i know a lot of people because your that brother is locked up in prison so i know my brother been in jail yeah 15 years and yeah. all stuff like that so i was like talking to him the other day he forgot how old he was he forgot he was one age and he was like man i didn't know i was making this age i thought i was this he said time go by you get lost in time sometimes so um the video that went viral with Baby, when he was in the, you know, we call it parish jail. We got 64 parishes, everywhere else mostly got counties. So the parish prison, we went in there and all that, and I put a lot of videos up. They took the video out there when Baby was asking a guy about the books or whatever. And then it got cut off and people took that sound by the ran with it. Anyway, Baby have a book company, him and Slim, called Cash Money Content. I think they got a book called Raw Law too. So they're all about reading and stuff like that. So for the, and Baby talk about how much he read the Bible when he's in jail. Or so for everybody to take it, like he didn't really like people that reading that was wrong or whatever. And even another thing, me and David supposed to be talking at Buff O'Free, which is why Dionco or whatever, he did a lot of time in prison in Angola. I think he did like 20 years, something like that. Um, we want to try to do something with the guys in the jail and we want to talk to, um, what her name is, um, Sheriff Susan Hudson, Hudson yeah, Susan Hudson, about sorry. trying to get a, a library inside of the prison, but Jefferson Parish got one, but all these don't have it. So when the guys go to jail, they don't have no literature to read stuff to learn about their case. So we can get the computers in there and get some of that money from probably like, uh, I think his name is, um, what his name is that she said when we was looking at the stuff on the news. Um, uh, Troy Carter, I think it was Troy Carter or something yeah, like shout that. Shout out to yeah, Congressman, our Congressman Troy right, Carter. Right, Troy Carter. So I know she said they got a lot of money for that. And if they could probably put something in that, in the in the prisons for the books and stuff like that, or just something where they could have the computers eat, I think that it helped a lot of the dudes because they really wanted to have information to read about laws because they don't have that. And that kind of hurt them when they going up and they taking all these plea deals because they're not knowledgeable or whatever. Yeah, right. And that's for a reason. It's a new jail, but no library in there. So we got to do something. We definitely so, got to do something. Um, right? I had several sit downs with the uh, sheriff and we putting a lot of things in place, uh, even with the DA in New Orleans. Jason uh, Williams. Um, I've been having a lot of conversations with a lot of elected officials in the city. Like I'm in a political world, like I said before. And um, 
I mean, I know all the elected officials. I know the soon to be elected officials. I know people who won't run for office. I know the people who used to be in office. So my stance is I'm all about the community. So if anybody willing to help, I don't have, I don't do the politics where this group of politics don't mess with this group of elected officials and all of that. So I don't play the politics game. I'm about whoever gonna help me Results. help the people. So I've uh, been instrumental in helping a lot of people get, um, that's incarcerated, get freed. and. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff in the community, man. It's just so many, it's so many things. I can't even tell you everything that I do mm -hmm. for the community. I have to have them tell you, oh man, shout out to Dave, he did this and he did that. But everything I do, I'm more or less behind the scene. I tell the people, I don't need no credit or nothing. I'm just doing it because it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff I do, I should get paid a whole lot of money for it, but I don't worry about the money. I'm just doing what, what needs to be done. And that's why a lot of times some of the stuff don't happen in the city because people feel like if they ain't getting paid to do it, oh, he ain't paying me, man, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. Yeah, so I'm just a genuine person that wants the city to thrive. So I've helped a lot of business people get in business. I was instrumental in helping a lot of these local businesses have ribbon cuttings and having the city officials come out and acknowledge them and doing the press release and bring the the, the news, getting the news media involved. Mm -hmm. I was a lot of help. I was I was a part of helping so many people in the in the city of New Orleans, just in general. So like I said, I wouldn't even be able to sit here and tell you everything that I actually do or do for the people, but just know I make a lot of stuff happen in the community. And now that I partner with Jeter, Jeter, Jeter put it out there. So Jeter got me famous a little bit. Everybody know me. Hell look, and I'm gonna say this too, cause I know you won't ask another question. Like Sugar Slim once said before, he said real power, you don't always see. He said, well, put your hand in that wall and bet you're gonna feel it. You ain't gotta see that electricity never put your hand in there, you're gonna feel it. So a lot of time, real power, you don't see it. You know, you don't, you don't yeah, but you put, you're gonna feel it if you touch it though. Yeah, Slim, I just told Slim about that book, The Secret Mind of a Millionaire. Right, yeah. And I'd say that book is, I heard you say that book and I'd make everybody that become a part of whatever I'm doing, whether it's boss talk, my stores, whatever I'm doing, mentorship, they gotta read that book, you know, cause that book right there, which I learned from him and he knew it. We talked about that like out there a while ago. So that was right. dope to finally get to tell him, hey man, appreciate you for, you know, even speaking out on that book and, right. and it gave me insight on different things. But Thanks. at any rate, man, um, you gotta understand, man, that you guys are y'all stirring the pot. You know what I mean? When it come down to other black communities, man, this is a hoorah. For people to say, hey man, others in other communities, in other states, in other cities, in other places, need to step up and do something for these entrepreneurs, because that's what they are, entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, 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 really, really just, just dope people who are in your city that have paved the way for others to become business owners. Real stand-up guys and that, you know, philanthropists, people that really people can look up to. We got some star players, man, mm -hmm. when it comes down to the black community. Not just in New Orleans, mm -hmm. but in a lot of places yeah, in Texas. Places. And right. you go up to uh, up to Chicago, Harlem, wherever, Harlem, wherever mm -hmm. you go. LA, we got yeah. some people. L.A., L.A., look, Kendrick just made that move that really... Really brought a lot of unity to a lot of communities that where that was gang, gang violence yeah, and all right, kind right, of stuff. Real, yeah. And he brought people together all walks of life. So yeah. th just like y'all did today down here, yeah, it's, it's he, crazy, it's and, happening, bro. Yeah. And even speaking of that, man, I was instrumental in helping a lot of uh, different people who had uh, problems with each other to resolve issues behind the scene. I did ceasefire. A, I, I did a ceasefire. Ceasefire is yeah, big. Listen. There's so much behind the scene that everything don't really need to see the light. So mm -hmm. I have a relationship with everybody in each ward. So I can go anywhere, like BG said, I can walk through any anywhere, through the one, two, three, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I could, I could go through everywhere throughout the city and I, everybody know me, uh, highly respected. You know, I, I, I do anything for anybody, get you straight off my back. So David, what you're saying is, you, you're saying that you got boots on the ground when the camera's not around. Mm, I like All that. Say that <laughs> say, say, no, that was a good one. That's <laughs> like some rap shit right there. Say that again. You, you, gotta that one back. you got boots on the ground when the yeah. camera's not around. And guess what? Mm, I ain't bars. no rapper, but, 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 but no cap in that rap. But, yeah, for real. Um, Which is like dope. Yeah, listen. No rap cap. Shout out to Melvin Palmer, man. That's my boy. That's right. who I always say that. Right, right. When he come on my show. Okay, okay. <laughs> he always gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you do have to roll your sleeves up when ain't nobody looking a lot listen. of times. Man, I... I'm married with five kids. Man, I, I, congrats. I spend a lot of my time. That, wait a minute. That's what I tell everybody. That's so gangster. College right? graduates and all that's that. That's way yeah. more gangster yeah. than what niggas think gangster is. What right. you just said, and you said with your wife? I'm yeah. still my wife. She was out there. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. She was catching all the footage and all that. Yeah. Come on, so, man. She got to understand that she that's knew what gangster, I'm doing. That's gangster, bro. And uh, she knew the vision what I had. I've been doing this since we met a long time ago. Just blessing the people and, and just 
Uh, being just doing it so much, I didn't realize how much I was doing it. You like, boy, you know, you know what we just made happen. I'm like, nah, <laughs> it's just what I do every day. So it ain't nothing like out of the ordinary for me because I right. do this all the time. Right. So even like with my kids, I sponsor kids all around my kids and make sure mm -hmm. I put my kids in position with people that's around them mm -hmm. and sponsor a lot of the kids that's in middle school and in high school mm -hmm. and even in college. I sponsor a lot of the kids throughout the college. Uh, and I help a lot of them get scholarships. I have relationships with people all throughout the colleges around the world. Uh, I help a lot of people, man. And it, I do it behind the scene. And that's what I like about G to G to so genuine. He do a lot of this uh, blogging and everything, but G to do a lot behind the scene that people don't see. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure the city get all the, everybody in the city. There's enough for all of us to eat. But if un unless somebody's showing them that we could do it, then they don't see it. So I've just been instrumental in making a lot of things happen. Mm. I came so, down here and seen it with my own eyes. Well, well let me say this. <laughs> let me let me put this out there. Um, I was instrumental in, in, in my old high school. Uh, I do a lot for the for, for my high school. School Marsha Fogg went to too, yeah. just to let you know. So, really? Yeah, so we, we have a street name changed from for, to, uh, named after that school as well. And, uh, we just raised $10 million to help build a stadium for that for that um for our school so that school finna have a stadium built and all the local schools throughout the um city of new orleans will have to come to the school and play football at our on school. friday nights yeah so i was instrumental nights. in helping a lot of things happen for for the school and for the community you know not only the school or my community i help a lot of schools throughout the city so i don't just tap to one school i'm doing anything for anybody that's positive to make the the change the necessary change so i build all my relationships and run resources instead of me getting, I could get money from them or I could get uh, something that'll benefit me. So anything somebody give to me, I take it and put it towards the kids, like a BG coming down, a Master P coming down, a Babe and them coming down, a Ride 49 them coming down, a YD the Illis. Mm. So all of these people, I, I was helping them behind the scene do all kind of things that was uh, beneficial for them that they was trying to reach back and do something for me. And my only thing was, you know what? Just go ahead and do this for the kids. Come come speak to the kids for me. Come to this jailhouse over here. Come to this jailhouse over there. Just tell them what they see seeing out here in the world ain't the real thing. Some of the stuff they think is this and all of that. So everything I could have got from one of those people, I took it and put it towards the, the community. All right, so look, all right, take that donation and bless this uh, bless this entity right here. This, this, um, this an entrepreneur, his business is doing bad. So the money you're gonna get to me, go ahead and bless him and help him build him up. Go take a picture, stop over here, so people will recognize. Patronize the business. So wow. getting them to patronize, getting the elected officials to come out and patronize all these local black people, helping them get grants, helping them to get money, connecting them with. So just tapping in, I'm having all the resources. So I'm tapping the small people and connecting them with the big people. So we able to put all people in one room. Building each other. So I'm saying, hey, okay, look. You know what this is over here? Oh no, I don't know who that is. All right, this person, this is the elected official, they responsible for this. Just, hey, elected official, you know who this person is? No, this person started this business and this, that, and the third. Oh, I, I, all right. They can help each other. Bridging the gap. Okay, wow. do you know this this artist right here? Oh, no, 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 I never heard of him. Okay, well, artists, have you ever heard of this person? No. Do you know this ANR? Do you know Do you know this uh, publishes for, for this entity? Do you know this person from, here and there, no, 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 I never met him. So I'm doing a lot of stuff G to doing. I'm putting a lot of small people who never get opportunities to meet certain people and just making it happen. Glue. And most yeah, people who real. do it try to do it for money. Well, look, if I plug you in with them, you gotta pay me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want the money. I just want the city to succeed. So once everybody in the city starts succeeding, then we could build up and, 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 and strive in a major way. So not everybody getting a piece of the pie. So not everybody not saying, well, damn, Boss Talk, the only one with a show that's doing good. So we gonna talk about Boss Talk. Yeah, Boss Talk this and Boss Talk that. But if Boss Talk got one and GD got one and David got one and we ain't competing with each other. Mm -hmm. And he's like, man, you know, I had this one on the show, man, congrats, bro. Man, you know, I had such and such and all of that. Come on, your it's show. room for mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm to survive and succeed in the community. Yeah. So that's basically I, what I've been doing. I, I agree with you, man. Years. You dope, man, and I appreciate you, man. If ain't nobody told you, man, I appreciate the love for our coach and people that look like us, bro. Right. I want. Yeah, I went into this place you were talking about earlier, though, right. when I when the picture and all that, when I went in there, what is, I don't even know, oh, See, I'm not from down here. Okay. But I, I walked off in there and I said, now it's dark as hell in there. Right. The roof is they low. The low, low, low ceilings. Yeah. I mean, the low ceilings, I'm low like, ceiling. okay, when I walked in, 
in because I'm not in there alone. Right. I walk in, it's people sitting there. I don't know. I'm like, damn, man, it's a cool vibe. You know what I mean? It's really like, uh, shout out to Marshall, Texas. It's like Frank Scott's or mm -hmm. something when you walk in there. Mm -hmm. Frank, we got a club in Marshall, Texas called Frank Scott. Okay. And and, and, I, and you walk in and the, and the ceilings was real low. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying? It's dark and you got right. a little shade. It's, it's like, kind of like that. Give me the history well, on, I, I told, on Miss Glass. I remember I told Baby when I first went in the low ceiling, I said, man, how Slim coming in? He said, what you mean? How he coming? He dug down and he walk in there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> and he go to, but his sister said he dug down, he go all the way to the back. So yeah, he high yeah. by the pool table. But that's the body that his daddy owned it. And they lived upstairs. And that area, historically, I my dad is documented. Yeah, there, yeah, he had did one with Apple and all yeah. that. And um, he that that then he moved later to Vanessa Magnolia. That's where he met BZ at in thirteen. But first, that's where he was living at in the third world on um, Saratoga. And he ran. That's why we did it right there. But my daddy used to live on Simon Bolivar, and he ran. So that's the next block up where the bulldozers at. But anyway, historically, it was known for like you had a lot of dope dealing around there, prostitutions, murders, all that. It was like that around there, even coming up. But like I said, his daddy owned that ball. His mama was with his daddy when she was there. So that's why he honored it, named it after his mama, which the name was Miss Gladys Brooks. But um, he keep yeah. it kind of the same too. Yeah, though. keep it the same. So it's like that's the same way or whatever. Like that. And that's why they always go out there to hang right there because it's the nostalgia. It's the so he, does he come out there sometime? That's where he always go. At. Like when he go there, that's where he go. But you know, his daddy and them, and mama been passed away. Of though. course. But that make him feel good because they always go back there. And that's why it's named after his mama. But that was the bar that his daddy owned. So they always had that entrepreneur hustle spirit because their dad was all work. So do, do do it stay open or is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was open. It would be open and all that. It's that always what I'm saying? Open. It's always open yeah, like it's always open. You yeah, go through yeah, there, yeah. you can go get yeah, your yeah, drink. Yeah, or all the time. You can yeah. shoot some pool in there. Yeah, yeah. the low ceiling. That's the people, a lot of people in that neighborhood, that's where they hang out at. That's like they spot. They, a lot of places in New Orleans, we, like in a, you might go on Pigeon Town, the Holly Grove, uh, the Night War, they got seven where they got little bars that be on the corner uh, in the block somewhere and that be the neighborhood hangout. So a lot of dudes blocks be territorial. So everybody Everybody don't go in everybody in the hood, but just like they got second line clubs that go to certain bars that they hang out in. Everybody be having their little, this wild spot at this out, you know, so that's that's like this spot. You know, I've I seen the damn documentary. I never didn't know I was going to be in that thing. Yeah. I would have celebrated. I got to go back over there and yeah. shoot a game of pool, nigga, because yeah. I really get down. Right, right. You know, so you like I said, and he done Miss had, he got the smooth table in there too. Yeah. And I think I, I seen it, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't know if no nigga in there really can shoot like me. I'm gonna have, they're uh -oh. gonna have to so bring the A game. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. They're gonna have to bring the A game. Uh -oh. No, my daddy taught me how to shoot. Pull the rest his soul, you know, but I don't care who it is. If they wanna meet me over there at Miss Gladys, right. it can go down so just like yeah. that. So somebody to do it. Whoever wanna come. Whoever wanna mm -hmm. smoke? Who? The Bible say whosoever will. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> I just like to talk about, man, because right. you got to understand, man, it just, I come up in, in places like that. Right. You know what I mean? I'm from a small country town where we had a couple of pool tables mm -hmm. and basically you went over there to have a good time. Right. You know, we called it the chuck wagon. You right. know what I'm okay. saying? But right. there's always in our hood, in our community, a spot like that. Mm -hmm. That's why when I go to New York, or if I go to come to New Orleans, or if I go to Vegas or wherever, mm -hmm. Cali, if I'm in, in, in Vegas, I'm on the west side. Right. I always go find our people, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. If I, I be my partner, you know, you seen I have yeah. my boy OG yeah. from Compton here right. with he us liked today. The, he liked my colors. Oh yeah, I he even know, yeah, even know. <laughs> that's my boy, he come down, you know, he knew I was gonna be down here, and right. that's the that's how I roll, like, yo, I really rock with y'all. Big rock west side you. shit, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm always, I'm always do it like that. So, man, I just wanna tell y'all, thank y'all. Thank you so much. for coming on the show, man. I, I like to thank y'all for what y'all did for me down here. You know no what problem, I'm saying? Man. That whole movement out there, all those people showing me love, yeah. showing my wife love, showing my crew love. Right. I think that was dope, bro. And like I said, uh, you know, just to be able to come down here and do what we had set out to do, mm -hmm. I thought it was dope. And thank you so much, man, David. I appreciate you. And it's just an honor to even man, meet you, bro. It. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate and I, I seen you. I seen you out there working. So yeah, I ain't know why I didn't see you. I seen you out there working. Right. I was out there with you. I had a pair of scissors somebody gave me. I ain't going to yeah. say no name. <laughs> they never did come back and get the scissors no, back. Well, I don't too. know what them damn scissors at right yeah. now. Right. I gave him back to probably, um, yeah, you're right. I did get a I don't know what else. I said, I think I just ate 
hold it. And I, I, I was like, so moving right. around. What am I going to do with these steps? Right, 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 right. Ain't no ribbon? Right, right. This is a sign. I'm he trying said, to figure out what. He said, I'm not no damn Edward Sisson. Hey, you gave me the chip off. I was tripping on them seals. But I still took them, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I just, like I said, I, I think, think we got some good footage out there. Yeah. Definitely just had a good time. Did everything I said I had to do, man. Mm -hmm. Because of you guys, man. Thank you very much. Boss Talk 101 got to thank y'all. Sure. Thank you. Show y'all some love. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans, uh, we in the house, man. Yeah, Boss Talk 101, baby. man. Did, anything, did I leave anything out? I just want to say the last thing. J Merck going to be doing some music soon. He's going to stay out of Jay trouble. Murk, man. He's going to stay out of trouble and we're going to be good or whatever. Hopefully everything be done with the house arrest and all that soon and his case gets dismissed and on August, hopefully the judge and them let it, you know, cut cut the whole thing because it's just bogus and all that. So hopefully everything be good with him in August and stuff like that. Man, check it, man. Boss Talk 101, want to thank David Hudson. Want to thank my boy GDP, man. Always. It's going down, man. Boss Talk 101, what a bosses talk. One time for the South. Hey, Cut the rap talk. Man, PMC, man. Boss, 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 boss.